hello friends welcome back to another video on this channel in today's video i'll show you my new creation it is a radar based uh, ultrasonic distance sensor based arduino radar as you can see it has an ultrasonic sensor here which rotates around on this servo this servo basically tells the arduino the exact position at which the ultrasonic sensor is at that moment and then the ultrasonic sensor can take the distance and tell if there is something in front of it I then take that data and I process it in a software called processing which is running on the computer here. It will then process it and basically just make this graph type thing in real time. It's just a manipulation of the data. So let me show you how it works. So as you can see this servo is sweeping the mic, uh, sweeping the ultrasonic distance sensor. So here I have just a bottle I am going to place it there. As you can see when the servo will come around towards the bottle it will show up here in red. This shows that there is something here as the ultrasonic distance sensor will tell that there is a distance coming up. Now if I, another thing is, is as you can see if I move this back, the further away it gets, the uh, le shorter the lines get. As you can see when I move this closer it's longer, but if it's farther away it's shorter lines. Also as you can see it is, like it is real time so I can put this here and it will get it there but then I can change it, move it here. And when it comes around here, as you can see, it will now detect this place. So let me just quickly show you guys how it works and talk about the wiring and stuff. So, let me just bring it a bit closer here. So, first of all, let me show you guys how this works. I'll just turn this off. As you can see, this is basically just a simple servo. Here I have an SG90. Uh, sorry mg90 uh, it's connected to this hc05 hcsr04 um this ultrasonic distance sensor this is connected to an arduino nano here this arduino nano is what is the brains of the operation this controls everything uh, for power i'm just have i have this external power box this i built this is just a simple in here all i have is a inside this all i have is a uh, ac in AC input into this module here this converts the AC to, to DC 12 volts which I am getting out here which I am not currently using and then there is another module which converts it to a 5 volt 5 amp constant which I am taking and putting it to here so this is just a bench power supply type thing that I built but if I turn this off as you can see I will just take off the power to separate the power supply and turn it off uh, this so let me talk more about this then so as you can see here this has very simple wiring so for connecting the servo pin which is this yellow wire here I am going into pin D2 on the Arduino Nano now you don't necessarily need to use a Arduino Nano you can use any Arduino you want the code is actually labeled with the pin outs like you can check the pins that just the first top three in the Arduino code so you can just change that according to whatever you want uh, I have my trigger pin on D3 and echo pin on d4 from here you can see these here these are connected back here onto here directly and uh, the both the servo and the uh, hcsr04 will be connected onto a 5 volt rail now in this case you have to have the uh, arduino connected via usb so i am not powering it again externally from this thing so instead what i have done is because there is a servo on here and it works using pwm so for that you need a common ground so just this wire connecting the ground of the Arduino to the ground rail of this breadboard. That's just for the servo to function properly and get the correct signals. Uh, that's basically it for wiring. Quite simple for wiring. Let me just switch over to the computer and show you guys the code now. Okay, so as you can see here, I have switched over to the computer. There are two codes. There is the Arduino code here and there is the processing code here. So first let me show you guys the Arduino code in detail. So main things you want to change are these two here. This is your trigger pin and your echo pin. This is what I was talking about. And here is the servo pin there. You want to change these three based on what you are connecting to. Uh, as for explaining the code, first of all we are including the servo library because there is a servo on board and this is a standard library. You don't have to include anything else uh, separately. Uh, we are just setting some variables here. We are creating a servo object. We are beginning serial here for communication with your uh, processing ID. In the loop, what we are doing is basically we are taking an integer i, starting it from 15, going till 155 and uh, points of 1 basically. 
like we are going 1 15 16 17 like that this is what your position is to be written to the servo so your servo goes from 15 degrees to 165 yeah, a typical servo goes from 0 to 180 degrees however uh, it's a little bit less than that because basically your when it at 180 or at zero like the wiring also shows up sometimes and that just causes some issues and it's looks a lot cleaner on the radar screen as well so going from 115 to 165 degrees so that's why there is that here we are setting three second th uh, like this is a basically 30 millisecond delay to let the servo get there and we are cal we are calling this uh, void part here which is the call calculate distance which we will get, uh, set here anyways we are going to basically just print the i which is your uh, position and the distance which is the distance which will be calculated from the hc04 uh, which will both be used by processing ide so once we are there we are basically just reversing it here so we are going from 165 to 15 basically just the reverse of it as you saw it goes uh, from cl clockwise direction once and then back to original post going counterclockwise so that's this part here same thing we are just calculating the distance position and all of those we are putting back in so the same place gets the same uh, like same basically same your uh, value of position so oh, uh, down here this is your just a standard uh, thing like here you have your uh, trigger pin low delay microsecond this is basically how the thing calculates it uh, like it's uh, uh, the uh, ultrasonic distance sensor basically it sends out a wave which then bounces off the object and comes back and the way it calculates the distance is by calculating the time it took to get uh, from sending the wave and ca coming back and dividing it by the speed of sound and dividing that by two again so that's what we are doing here basically we are saying duration into the speed of sound dividing by two this is going to give me the distance by two because for once for going once for coming back so this is how we are going to calculate the distance and that's basically it for the Arduino code. If we switch over to processing code here. Okay, so I have the processing code open here. So in this processing code, the main thing you want to be worrying about is this and this. This is your screen resolution. So mine is a 1920 by 1080. So if you are using something else, you want to change that here. So the window that opens up is exactly to your size like I had it for mine. Uh, this is another thing you want to change this is the com port of your arduino so basically you just want to go over here into device manager and you want to see here in ports here you will see a communication usb device something like that will show up you want to see that port com port there and whatever it is you want to put that right here so in my case it is com7 now the, as i showed you i disconnected the arduino so it's not showing anymore other than that this is basically the logic for uh, basically taking that processing data uh, sorry, taking that data from Arduino, uh, the serial, which is the data for the distance as well as the position and creating that little sweep animation and just uh, like showing that data and in the green text first and then basically when there is like when there is a object, we'll put a red bar instead then the length of the red bar depends on the distance from the ultrasonic distance sensor which is measured by it so that's how we are getting that uh, radar sweeping animation going so you just want to include a part so in the included uh, like the uh, in the description i will include both the codes so there is another file with this file here you want to inc have this included in your system it's or by default it's there just make sure that's in the same folder if you are changing like uh, like if you're copying it somewhere else or something like that but yeah, other than that that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to leave a like to the and subscribe to the channel and i hope you guys i hope to see you guys next time